easy to say. Like. <clears throat> so I'm on hold with uh, Las Vegas probation and parole. We about to get down to the nitty gritty today. Let's find out why the hell are y'all stalking? You had all opportunity to come get me for 90 days. No, 89 days. Like, and you did not come and pick me up for a f supposed to be fake ass felony warrant that y'all conjured up with your agents. I go do my little, what is it, 40% of uh, 19? Man, I go do that little 40%. I already got 90 days credit. By the time I get there, I'll be released. I sat in jail for 90 days over here, and then I did 90 days on, on, the, on the time. What are you talking about? So when I get there, I'll be released. On parole. Then what? You still gonna stop? I already got 90 days credit time, sir. Uh, time in on the case. Hello? Yes. Hi, Mr. Colbert? Yes. Hi, this is Lisa Elliott. What can I do for you? I was wondering, um, I sat in jail for 89 days in Crawford County. You guys did not come pick me up. For extradition for the okay. uh, probation uh, warrant or, or violation or something. Uh huh. Um, I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, you guys did my, uh, I believe it was a, uh, you know, I think you did like a, a you do a fact finding. It's called a PSI report. Right. And you present an investigation. And you knew I lived in Kansas City, Missouri. I was from there prior to and I wanted my uh, probation to be transferred to Kansas City and you guys never transferred it and then you put out a warrant for my arrest and I sat in jail for 89 days in Crawford County and you guys never picked me up okay where is Crawford County first of all huh where is Crawford County Crawford County is located in uh, I believe is um, Gerard Kansas I was in, it was in for Pittsburgh, okay. Kansas, but it's located in Girard, Kansas, okay. the county jail. Right. And I sat in there for okay. 89 days. Yeah. And you and guys. When was that? Excuse me? When was that? Um, I went to jail October of 2019, and I was released from the county jail January 8th, 2020. Okay. So let me see what I can find. And does here. that count as time uh, towards my case? The time I sat in there waiting for you guys to pick me up and you never picked me up? Well, hold on. You went in in October of 19? Yep. Okay. We didn't have a warrant at that time. Oh, yeah, you did. They picked me up for it. That's the reason why they picked me up. The reason why they were able to hold me uh, was because you guys had a warrant out of Las Vegas, an extraditable warrant, and I fought expedition. And you guys never come okay, pick me up. Okay, of 19. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had the I had the year wrong. I got it. Of 19. Okay. Uh huh. So, um, this first PD phone call. That's the phone. Turned yourself in, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. This is why. Because the judge there... Um... Alright, let me, let me read this to you, okay? Michelle from Crawford County Detention called and said that you had gone to court, and this was on October 16th of 2019, that you went to court that day, 
for your waiver hearing and you refuse to sign, um, uh -huh. the judge has signed to the hearing, even asked if you were sure that's what you wanted, and you would, let's see, what you wanted is all the time spent while waiting for the governor's warrant will be considered dead time, that it can take up to 90 to 120 days to receive the governor's warrant. And then you told the judge, according to Michelle, whoever that is at Crawford County, that you would sign the waiver when you felt like it. So No, that's not true, and it better be on record. Okay, that, I, and I'm just saying, that's what... I we say I refuse okay, to... I'm just reading this to you. Uh-huh. So, um... Let's see... The next thing is... Governor's warrant was requested. Mm-hmm. And... The governor's warrant... Is, was... Sorry. The governor's warrant was not completed by December 17th of 2019. Correct. So there was... Judge is already released in January of 2020. January 8th. Okay, on, yeah. The governor's warrant was not completed because. That has nothing to do with me. General. No, I know. No, I know. The governor's warrant, or the governor and the attorney general's office had not completed it. So, you were relieved. Uh huh. That's why we, that was why we couldn't come get you, is because you didn't sign the waiver. So, no, 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 no. This is what I'm asking. Why wasn't the okay. governor's warrant issued? If I'm such a dangerous felon, why didn't you guys <laughs> come get me? I because, didn't say that. Well, with, I know you didn't say it, but I'm getting stalked, <laughs> gang stalked. I know you know what that is. Mm -hmm. Organized harassment. Community-based agents watching me, following me. Breaking into my car, poisoning my food. What? Oh, I have all evidence. Getting hit with direct energy weapons. Yeah, I got all the evidence too to back it up. But yeah, okay, so I'm who's doing that. Uh, it's a third party agency, un, out, a corrupt law enforcement agency. Third party, not saying law law enforcement is doing it, but a third party, corrupt, funded by the government agency is following surveilling me watching me slandering my name smearing my name they're doing it all to uh millions of uh, americans across the country i'm put on a terrorist watch list because of this case i'm on a d i'm on the doj's watch list yeah dangerous person well, I guarantee you, we didn't we didn't have anything to do with that one so um well um <laughs> I, I got wouldn't, nothing to do with that uh yeah, well, <laughs> well so somebody got something to do with something and uh I'm being followed and and cased and surveilled uh every day of my life my life is being ruined uh okay, and so I was like still in Missouri then Yeah I'm in Kansas City Missouri hey, Go chief um <laughs> so, she said, oh, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm a Chiefs fan. You yeah, yeah. Well. Chiefs, Chiefs was good and everything, but my life is being ruined. So I want to see what was what's going on I with this. I, I gave you guys. Right, I mean, even so. though I didn't sign the waiver because I don't belong in Las Vegas, that's not my hometown. You guys had every no, chance, man. and you guys have every chance and opportunity to sign the governor's warrant, get me sent back, so what I can face the judge for whatever thing I did wrong. Okay, so here's here's the thing, Mr. Colbert. When we submit a request for a governor's warrant, then it's out of our hands. Then it's up to the attorney general and the governor to take it from there. Correct. The fact that they didn't do it, I, I, I can't help it, which 
So why so why am like, I being persecuted? Like I'm sorry. I'm I'm just trying to defend myself right now. Why am I being I, why am I being persecuted for the fact that the attorney general and the governor didn't do what they're supposed to do, and I'm being labeled a dangerous felon, and I'm being watched, surveilled by community-based agents? It's called gang stalking. It's called organized harassment. Okay, so here's the thing. We have nothing to do with that. I know, uh, I but, understand that, but I'm going to get to the bottom of who... Well, the thing is, ma'am, is that people are being put on terrorist watch lists, and they're being watched and surveilled, and they're being treated like, like scum of the earth. This is my very first felony I've ever gotten my whole life, and I'm being treated like scum of the earth. Well, and the own, and you said it with your own words that the governor or the attorney general didn't see that I was a much dangerous suspect or felony fleeing from justice to even sign the waiver to come get me. So if I was that dangerous, if I, but what I'm saying is if I'm that dangerous and I'm that bad of a person, then why didn't they sign the waiver? Well, here's the thing. I don't know why they didn't sign the governor's warrant. I don't know. Anybody? They don't tell us. Okay, go ahead, ma'am. I want to hear some more information okay. that you have for me. They don't tell us that. Um, I mean, if we're if we're missing information, then they come back and say, "Hey, we need this, this, and this." But I'm not seeing that they did that, so I don't know why it wasn't signed. I think I, I know I, why. I, I, can't I think I got so, a good idea why it wasn't signed. The only thing we have in our record is that you were convicted of a I pled guilty done by a prohibited person. Yeah, first felony ever got. So, okay. So why did it say you were a prohibited person? Because of domestic I had a domestic violence misdemeanor on my record. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. So that makes sense. That makes sense. So, what I would suggest and this is just a suggestion. I don't know if you want to do it, but what I would suggest, sir, is contact a public defender in Clark County, Nevada. Give them your case number. Tell them you have a warrant and you want to take care of it. That attorney would file whatever motions with the court and you may be able to take care of that warrant, this warrant, without having to come to Nevada. Oh, okay. Okay, because the judge is the only one that can remove the warrant. Right, and, and this case has been going okay. on for five years. Well, and here's the other thing. Because your probation doesn't isn't supposed to expire until December of 22. So... That means you would have to come into compliance. Okay. Which, which would mean you have to contact the um, probation office in Las Vegas. Okay. And figure out how you can request what's called an interstate compact. Yes, I've requested means, that in my PSI. Okay, that's not how it works. Okay. Okay, there's actual paperwork for interstate compact because that's a federal program. Okay. There's paperwork that needs to be done by the probation officer submitted to the state that you want to move to, and they have to say, okay, yes, we will supervise him. Okay. Okay, so that's how that all works. Okay, I could do all this through my public defender? He can't do the interstate compact paperwork. Oh, I just have to do, I have that, to do that. Okay. Yes, that has to be done through the probation office. So the probation office where I'm at, can I uh, do the paperwork through the probation officer here in Kansas City or something like that? You can ask, but I don't think they'll do it. I think it has to be done through Nevada, which is why I said so, if you contact. So I have to first, come out there? First, well, no, Here's here's what I'm saying. First things first, contact the public defender, mm -hmm. give them your case number, mm -hmm. tell them what's going on, and once the warrant is taken care of, either through a hearing or the judge just 
says, okay, we're going to quash it and make it go away, then you have to contact the probation office in Las Vegas okay. and say, I am living here and have been. This was my address when I was arrested in Nevada. Okay. Okay? And then you say, I want to do an interstate compact and figure out with that officer in Las Vegas how the paperwork can be done. They may be able to contact somebody in Kansas City and say, hey, will you do the paperwork with it? I don't know. Okay. That, that's out of my area of expertise. <laughs> right, right. I, I, I know the process. I just don't know how... They could go about so I got like I got like there. like a year, almost like a little over a year left on probation, and I mean I've been doing pretty good with all, right. with this warrant status. I haven't committed no new crimes, no new felonies, no none getting in trouble. Right. I just been getting gang stalked, watched, surveilled, poisoned, sabotaged. But that's okay though. I would well, love to get this really taken okay. care of. No, but I mean I'm just saying yeah. it's not okay, but that's nothing I can do about it because this is these are totally into, this is an entity that I don't have no idea who's following me. I have a pretty much I have a good idea where it come from. I got put on a uh, domestic terrorist watch list, and uh, now people are watching me like crazy. And I, um, you don't have the liberty probably to even say anything about it because you're a legal person and you're involved I, with the court system know anything and everything. About it, honestly, honestly oh, okay. I have no clue. Yeah, I didn't know no, about it until last just, year in March, but it's called gang stalking. They they, they hire they hire like felons, criminals. They get caught up like confidential informants, snitches to follow you. Uh, put you in scenarios to try to get you locked up uh, to get to well, do I'm more time. It's like that's something, that's something that the state of Nevada don't do because we ain't got the money to do nothing. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Oh no! Guaranteed. I know it's probably not. It's probably not Nevada. It's probably uh, I think it's the uh, federal government, the uh, National oh. Security Association, NSA, DOJ, oh, Department they, they of do Justice. Their own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. I know exactly who's doing it. But it's a. Uh, it's just one of those things where I just want to uh, get this uh, little thing behind me, and uh, and that way, if they still stalking me after that, then they have nothing on me. That means they just stalking me for there another reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, absolutely. If you can get this taken care of, right? Hallelujah. That's one right. file out of my office. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about to get this taken care of because it don't look like it's going nowhere. Now, yeah, I, got one last... I mean, unless you're arrested, then yeah. If I don't get arrested, if I don't get arrested after December twenty two, will it go away? No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I need to get this taken care of. Yeah, yeah. The sooner you get a hold of an attorney that can file the motion with the court to do. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. My words left my brain. To do a hearing in absentia. Okay. The, the better off you're going to be because that judge is either going to say okay he's reinstated to probation and you're going to be ordered to contact uh, probation and parole, parole probation and then uh, interstate compact because I live in a uh, different uh, state correct okay absolutely alright sounds okay. great that sounds great I thank you for being honest and uh, yeah look up gang stalking man it's serious out here man okay and hey could I could I get a phone number just in case I get some more information and I can call you. Yeah, back. I'm here. I mean, if you, I'm seven zero two four seven two zero zero five two. I, I know I got ninety days in on the case. I probably could just come in, do the time, and get out on parole. But I don't want to do all that. You know, I mean, if I don't have to. Well, yeah, cause, yeah, it's nineteen to forty eight months. Yeah, forty percent of nineteen. To, well, yeah, you'd, you'd be out in a year. But a little less than a year. If, yeah, if the judge would work with you, cool. It'd probably be like, okay. I already got, se- it probably, it's like seven months, but I already got three months in, so it'd be like five months. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's why I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm so- not that bad. I'm not no real, no real criminal for real. It's my first time ever getting in trouble. So, like, real big trouble anyway. So Right. Right. And I haven't committed no crime so, since. And I know the judge would probably like that, even though, you know, I've absconded. But I had very good reason to abscond because my father was dying. And I had to be by my father's side. So, you know, well, and, I don't and live here. All of that. Judges understand that kind of thing. OK, courts, courts listen to that. It's just you, you got to give them a good reason. 
And yep. if you can back it up with documentation, more yep. power to you. I sure That'd can. That'd be even better. So, okay. Thank you so much. Well, you You've get been a hold very of helpful. the public defender. I am. Well, you're I'm, very welcome. I'm all over it. <laughs> all right. Thank okay. you again. Okay. Well, good luck. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. It's easy to say. Right? <clears throat> so I'm on hold with uh, Las Vegas probation and parole. We about to get down to the nitty gritty today. Let's find out why the hell are y'all stalking? You had all opportunity to come get me for 90 days. No, 89 days. Like, and you did not come and pick me up for a f supposed to be fake ass felony warrant that y'all conjured up with your agents. I go do my little, what is it, 40% of uh, 19? Man, I go do that little 40%. I already got 90 days credit. 